Okay, so in this video, we are going to take a look at uh, with functions, how we can use algebra to get some answers with functions and how we can use the graph of the function to get some answers. OK, so first of all, we're going to take a look at the using algebra. OK, so take a look at these two very common types of questions. One where we're asked in this function, 4x minus 5, find f of 3. Now, in this function here, the 3, if you can see, replaces the x in that notation. OK, quite different then to this one over here when it asks for the values of x for which f of x is equal to 11. This is when we have the function equal to something. OK, watch out for that uh, difference. OK, as I said, these are very common questions. One looks like this and one looks like this. In other words, one where you have the number replacing X in the brackets and one where you have the function equal to something. So we're going to look at the algebraic approach with this and then we're going to have a look at the graphical approach when asked these types of questions. So here, let's take this one first. Whenever you have the number replacing the X, then that's exactly what you're going to do in the function. Instead of 4x minus 5, we're going to sub in 3 for the x. And again, with your algebra substitution, whatever you sub in, keep brackets around it. So instead of 4x minus 5, we're going to do 4 and then put the 3 in for the x in brackets minus 5. And then we work that out. 4 times 3, of course, is 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. So f of 3 is equal to seven. Now with this type of question over here, we have f of x is equal to 11. OK, now in this one. We take our f of x. All right. And this is what f of x is equal to from up here. Yeah, f of x is equal to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sub that in for the f of x because that's what f of x is equal to it tells me that right at the start so f of x is equal to 4x minus 5 so i'm going to put in 4x minus 5 and of course that is now equal to 11 that's what we're told it's equal to 11 11 is the result and we need to find the values of x for this equation if you like for f of x equal to 11 so when we put 4x minus 5 equal to 11 we need to now find the values of x in other words we need to solve this equation so as always with solving equations you want to get x on its own so the first thing you're going to do is get rid of the minus 5 by adding 5 to both sides that leaves you with 4x is equal to 11 and 5 is 16 and then to get rid of the 4 which is being multiplied you've got to divide uh, and if you do it on the left, you've got to do it on the right. And we get X is equal to four. So there's the value of X for which F of X is equal to 11. Now, if you want any little recap on solving equations, take a look. There is a video on that. OK, try this question this time. Uh, the functions called G of X. All right. But just a different uh, label on it but you'll still do the very same thing. This time it's g of x is equal to 5x minus 7. We want to find g of 4 and the value of x for which g of x is equal to 23. Pause the video and see how you get on with this one. So in part i, if it's g of 4, then again, the 4 is replacing the x. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. Instead of 5x minus 7, it's going to be 5. Put the 4 in brackets, minus 7. And that is 20 minus 7, which is... Uh, 13. And so we get that G of 4 is equal to 13. And now in the second part, if G of X is equal to 23, well, G of X, we are told, is equal to 5X minus 7. So that's exactly what I'm going to put in there for the G of X. If G of X is equal to 5X minus 7, then put that in for the g of x into that equation. OK, and now we will just solve this equation to find the value of x. 
So to get rid of minus 7, I will add 7 to both sides. That gives me 5x is equal to 30. And now to get x on its own, I'll divide both sides by 5. And so I get x is equal to 6. OK, take a look at this question. So we're told that f of x is equal to 2x minus 3 and g of x is equal to 3 minus 5x. And we're asked to find the value of x for which f of x is equal to uh, g of minus 3. OK, so let's look at this bit by bit. The first thing I'm going to take a look at here is the g of minus 3. OK, and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to work that out. OK, g of minus 3. Remember, if you have a minus 3 instead of the x, we replace the x with minus 3 in the function. So let's work this out. That's going to be 3 minus 5 by minus 3 is a positive 15. So that is equal to 18. So g of minus 3 is equal to 18. So that's what I'm going to sub in now on the right hand side of this equation. OK. On the left hand side, I can see I have f of x. And of course, I do have an expression for f of x here. There's the function f of x. So that's what I'm going to sub into there. And that is what I'm going to sub into there. So that gives me 2x minus 3. I'm putting in instead of the f of x because that's what it's equal to. And 18 instead of the g of minus 3 because I've worked that out that that's what that's equal to. And now I can solve this equation and solve for the value of x. So to get rid of minus 3, I add 3 to both sides and I get 2x is equal to 21. And then I will divide both sides by 2 and I get x is equal to 10.5. And that's the value for which f of x equates to g of minus 3. OK, take a look at this question. g of x is equal to 4x minus 5 and find the value of k for which k times g of 3 is equal to g of 10. Now, I know that looks quite complicated, but again, we're going to break it down for ourselves. Um, and the first thing I'm going to look at is this g of 3. OK, let's work out what that is first. All right, g of 3. And remember, if you have the 3 replacing the x, then that's exactly what you're going to do in the function instead of the x put the 3 so i get 12 take away 5 which is 7 so g of 3 is equal to 7 and now come over to the right hand side and let's take a look at g of 10 so g of 10 again instead of the x i have 10 so that's exactly what i'm going to do now i'm going to replace the x with the 10 and I'm left with uh, 40 minus 5 which is 35. Okay so I have 35 is g of 10. So now what I'm going to do okay don't forget you have okay I have this k here all right so don't forget you have that k uh, and then I'm going to replace the g of 3 with 7 Right, substitute it in, and in place of the g of 10, I'm going to put in 35, substitute it in. Now remember, whatever you're subbing in, keep brackets around it, because that k right beside the g of 3 means k times g of 3. And then instead of that, I have 35. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just subbing in then for my g of 3 and for my g of 10, OK? So I have k times 7, which is 7k is equal to 35. And now I can find that value of k by dividing both sides by 7. So I get k is equal to 5. 